Imagine an alternate timeline where flying boats never died out. Today, we take a look at the flying boat by the frog, Curtis. Let's get started. All right, so we are currently in the editor. This is the flying boat, and let me try to say this, ta ra per ohi and roll the R's. It says, so ta-da, ta-da, ta ra per ohi ta ra per Yeah, I can't roll R's. Anyways, it is the ta ra per ohi and it is by that frog, Curtis. And this made it to the top spot, finally pushing down the dancing robot. Grouse, earthquake and underground, like grouse, 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 throw it up, throw it up, throw it up, throw it up. All right, he's not really a dancing robot, but it's still fun to watch. So this is a flying boat, and he made the wings uh, so they fold out, which I don't think that's a great idea. <laughs> I think he should go ahead and just make it a spawner plane instead of doing all this work with the uh, wings, because... If you don't have the extra build area and you try to flop it in there, I think that it gets stuck on these uh, fences. So, yeah. So, let's spawn this guy. And there it is. And we're already getting warnings about physics bodies. So, if you get rid of those pivots, that'll help with the physics bodies and stuff like that. So, let's check this out. Uh, yeah. Really nice looking. And it floats nice. And, okay. Here's something I really like. Watch this. Hold on. So can you see what he did here? He took the lighter blue and it does a gradient all the way to the darker blue. Now that is a pain in the butt to do in Stormworks. I'd be curious how he came up with the color palette or if he was just really good with those sliders. I'm not good with those sliders. I end up with like crazy colors. So yeah, so really nice job with the gradient. I'm back in the water here. Okay, let's see if we can get on, I'm guessing right here. There we go. And we're just gonna open this up. And I'm not reading any instructions because I assume that I can figure this one out. Or can I? I'm hearing pivots move around. What do we got here? We've got... So, very cool doors. Let's see, we have one over here on this side. Which is... What the heck is that? Oh, that's a wall. We're floating around. Okay. And then, what is this? What is this? Lock. Up. Down. What is that? Is that a, what is that? Is that an elevator or something? I'm not understanding what this is. That did not help. What is this? What is this? Is there a thing? I don't know what this is. Okay, there's a track here. There's a thing there. Is it going down? Is it going up? Oh, lock on. Lock on. Okay, oh, hold on. I don't, I don't know what that does. Wait, what's that? Is it moving out there? Ha! Huh. I don't know what that is. What's it say? Okay, well, I don't see any instructions on what this thing does back there. I feel like it would be... No? I don't know. Like, would this open up and be wider? Or a back door besides these doors? I'm going to have to look in the uh, editor if I can't figure this out, because it's driving me crazy. All right, let's go to the front and see. Okay, let's see. Let's open the door here and see what's in here. It gets really bright in here. We've got a hatch. Okay, ooh, that's cool. What's that look like on the outside? Okay, there's a hatch from the outside, which looks pretty cool. All right, let's close the hatch. Is that a light? Light switch. Okay. And then we have light switch. Oh, that's... That's much better than a flashlight. Look at that. Now we can see. How do you get... Why is this in my hand? So anyways, we've got ropes. We've got more ropes. What is this? Okay, that's a winch. Okay, that makes sense. But like, what is this too? How is that related to this back here? That looks like it goes up and down. But I can't get it to go up or down. Maybe the engine has to be... Oh, maybe the engine has to be on. Let's go turn the engine. All right. There we go. So let's go around here. What's that? Light switch. We're good. What's this? Light switch. Oh, oh, wow, look at this. It is a flying boat with passengers, of course. Duh. And then we've got whatever this is. What is this? Hey, see, look, this is that thing again. I wonder if it's broken. Maybe. Oh, wait, did it move? I feel like it's broken. Oh, well. All right, so we've got a hatch up there. We've got a door there. And if we come back here, we have little rooms here. Can we name these doors? I don't think they're named, so I don't know if these are like crew members or what, but those are pretty cool. And then we've got the elevator that doesn't work. That's fine. We've got toilets. Oh, I like that. That looks like a bottle, doesn't it? Oh, that's not good. Uh, but yeah. And then a little sink, bathroom. Very cool. Love it. Do these open? Is that why? No, that's a light. That's a light. These don't open, do they? No, these don't open. That would be a nightmare if these open. That would be a lot of pivots. Okay, what does that look like if the light's off? Let's turn that off. Ooh, look. Oh, so scary when it does that noise. But look at the seats. The seats are pretty cool. Oh, yeah. 
This is nice. I love these seats. Look at these seats. Those are the coolest seats I've seen, I think. I think I always say that when I see some new seats, but these are pretty cool. Oh, got to copy those. Uh, borrow those. Yeah, you know what I mean. All right, let's go ahead and go into the little galley here. Do I have a galley light? Very cool. Nice, nice, nice. All right, now it's time to head towards the cockpit, which is never going to end well for me, but we're going to try. All right, let's go ahead and see what the instructions are on this. It says master battery switch on master battery. Master, 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 master. Oh boy. Master battery. Here it is. Okay. Boop. Master battery on. Avionics. Avionics on. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do the next one, which is instrument light switch on if desired. Oh yeah. Let's turn that on. I don't know what's that. Instrument lights. There we go. Now everything glows. How pretty. Oh, that's cool looking. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Nav strobe lights on. Inappropriate. <laughs> I don't know when it's appropriate is. I don't even know. I'm not a pilot. So we'll just inappropriately turn those lights on. Strobe lights on. Nav lights on. Yeah. What's it look like? Oh, I broke the wing. Should we try to take off? Yeah, let's try to take off. Screw it. Uh, let's see here. Engine fuel pumps on. Oh, okay. These are engine fuel pumps. Then turn on the ignition switches. That seems easy. Left and right generator switched on. Oh, there we go. That's 12 RPMs there. That's 11. We're waiting for the broken left engine, maybe. Oh, it is broken. Never mind. Let's go ahead and respawn it. All right. So we can't put on the brakes here. So we're going to try to do it very quickly. Master battery. Uh, pumps, 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 pumps. Ignition, 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 ignition. Yeah. And then wait for 10%. Oh, crap. It's turning. Ah, oh, stop turning. Why is it? Why is it turning so quickly to the left? Is it going to break? Ow. Oh. All right. This is the farthest I can get it away from the dock. So if this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit mastery battery lights, lights, avionics, pump, 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 engine, 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 and Wait for generators for 10% on the RPMs. Okay, do not turn. Be cool. Be cool. Is there a wind on or something? No, no wind. All right, I don't know, but it really wants to go left. Okay, I think we're doing good. Okay, see, uh, all 11, so we can turn on the generators. Boom, boom. All righty. Taxi, aircraft is best at 50% or greater. All right, that's engine throttles, prop pitch. We want to do the prop pitch to full to take off. All right, let's do 50% taxi. All right, here we go. Are we taxing? Come on, engines. Let's go, go, go. All right, so far we're not really moving. Are the prop pitch like nothing? Oh, the prop pitches are like nothing. Okay, zero prop pitch? That's weird. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do prop pitch to full. Oh, there we go. Look at it. It is moving now. All right. And look how high it sits on the water. Is that a pivot thing? Is he cheating with the pivots? Or is this thing just really float really well? I think we should look inside once we're done, just to check. All right. So increase engine to 100. And we're just going to see if it lifts off. I'm not touching the elevator at all. I'm just curious to see if it... Oh, it does. Look at that. That's nice. All right. We're going to go up. Uh, it looks like it has a limiter on the elevator. Or at least a pitch. Because it's not over pitching. So I can't go any higher than this right now. As far as like the nose. So I'm guessing it's trying to keep it. You know. Where it's not going to be flipping. <laughs> doing loops. There we go. Also says that the roll is limited, I think. It is. So he's limiting the roll. He's limiting the uh, pitch. And that gives us a nice, kind of a more stable flight than allowing you to go crazy with this kind of plane, which probably wouldn't be doing loops with passengers. All right, let's see if we can land this. Uh, we're going to go down to 50%, maybe? Yeah, it's better at 40. Let's go 40 again. Does this have it on the up and down? 
No, see? Oh, you don't have up-down arrows for the uh, throttle. That's a, that's a minus five points off my review that I'm not actually doing. But yeah, you have to have the up and down arrows on your throttle. It's like a it's like a requirement. Okay, let's see here. Uh, we're going down, but not fast enough. Let's go 20. Let's kill it down to 15, 13. 13 will get us down. This thing must have a lot of lift, because it is trying. Wait, I'm not in like... Oh, I'm in the physics low detail. Okay, wait, let's do this. Oops. So, so far, we know that you can fly it in low physics. Let's see what high physics do. Now I feel like I cheated with the full physics off. Was I, like, making it easier or harder to fly? I don't, I have no idea. But how, how's this thing flying in, like, point? All right, we're going down to point six. Hopefully it will start going down. It doesn't want to land. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Let's go back to point ten. Is that supposed to be, like... Two meters above or something? I'm not even close to the ground. Okay, uh, let's go back down to seven. Okay, come on, drop, 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 drop. Am I not moving? What the? What the? That's so weird. I'm landing like a helicopter. What the heck? Are there pivot sheets down here? Oh my gosh, that was weird. I'm just curious because that was weird. So I expected to slowly land and instead I just kind of uh, fell out of the sky. Are you seeing the little pivots cheat here? I'm not. That was weird. Was that weird? That was weird. All right, let's take it up one more time with full physics on and I am just really curious as to why it just stopped in the sky that was weird so it does float amazing I don't I'm so confused by this plane why it floats so amazing and the second why did it fall out of the sky like a helicopter or land like a Harrier jump jet that was weird okay can I pull up here yeah you can pull up okay so just out of fun, we're going to go back down to, I think it was like 10, and it just stopped right in the sky and landed like a helicopter. See, that's what I expected to do. Okay, up we go. Okay, now we're going to go, I don't know, let's go down to like 15, 20, 20? Is that like losing airspeed? Yeah, it is. Okay. So far, so good. Not acting too crazy. Stuck at 80. So let's go down to 15. Almost 15. And let's see. I mean, we're still moving. And we are dropping altitude. Yeah, that's, that's a nice landing. Maybe it had to do with me from switching to low physics to full physics. And something weird happened. I don't know. So this has been the flying boat, Taraporohi, 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 by that frog, Curtis. And you can download it in the description below. And of course, don't forget that the Stormy Awards is coming up in October. And you're going to want to go ahead and join the Reddit and upvote and suggest and maybe even submit your own build. And then we'll have a successful Stormy Awards 2021. All right, so I'm missing my hair for some reason, but go ahead and hit the bell so it goes ding dong when uploading a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. Bye.